got this little bit of hair that's annoying me. Oh, what, what is this even doing? What are you even doing? Go where you're meant to be. What? Does that look all right? Oh, just stay down then. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. And if you can't tell by the title and the fact I'm barefaced and beautiful, today I'm bringing you the next episode in the Dust Collectors Get Ready With Me series that I'm doing with the lovely Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. Make sure you check her out if you haven't already. I'll have her linked up above. So a quick recap of basically what this series is about. So Paula and myself are using the items in our collection which are collecting dust. So these can be items that we haven't used in a very long time or items that are have never been touched which are a few of my items are ones that have never been touched now i'm mainly focusing on eyeshadow palettes and um lipsticks because lipsticks are my vice but um paula is using a lots of different base products and things as well which has been very interesting to watch so I've already used my moisturizer and my eye primer. So I'm not going to show you that application today, but we are going to jump into a sped up version of me applying my base products. Um, and as you might remember, I have not been wearing foundation. So we're not going to be putting any foundation on today, but we'll do the rest of my base products before jumping into um, the eye look. <laughs>
Okay, so now that my base is ready to go, I'm going to pull out the palette I'll be using today. Now this palette is part of my Lips vs Eyes um, challenge that I'm doing with Brandy, Samantha and Shay. That will be linked up above. Um, and this is this week's theme palette, which is the most ignored palette in your collection. Now, I decided to go with a pretty new palette to my collection that I've never used before, which is this G'day Sydney Essence palette. And this is what the shades look like if you have not seen them before. So I'm going to start off, I'm going to use this cream shade to set my um, primer base and then we are going to go from there including that cream shade only these two browns here are um mattes so we're going to see what look we can create okay Let's zoom you in a bit closer for the eye look. Okay, so like I said, this is the palette. Now, these two here, apart from that cream, are the only two mattes. So I guess I'm going to start off by putting this one in my um, crease. Now, as you can see, I am wearing green today, so I'm not sure if I'm going to go with a blue look, a green look, or just stick with a more neutral look today. Let's, let's just make it up as we go along. Start with this one. So, recently... Um, Paula has actually been doing these videos that she's calling Verma blogging. Verma vlogging? That's what it is. Um, have you seen those? It is essentially a video of her vlogging her experiences of her worm farming hobby that she's now taken up. I personally am loving them. I'm interested in worms. I don't know if I personally will have a worm farm because the location that I live in is quite a warm climate, but I definitely am always interested in watching those kind of videos, really. I've never, I, I just enjoy them. <laughs> so that's been of interest. So I'd like to hear if anyone else has been enjoying, you know, people within the panning community who have been trying different things. I have tried doing some decluttering, which I actually, I have filmed it, but I haven't edited it. So I have a wardrobe declutter that will be coming up at some point. Um, and then I'm planning to do a, another, like my shoes and hats declutter. But also on top of that, as you might know, if you've seen my Instagram, we have recently bought a house which means we have moved um and our moving we kind of do it opposite because we don't declutter before we move we just move and then complain about how much stuff we have and then decide to do a clean out <laughs> that's basically what we do um so we'll probably be doing a bit of a decluttering i've got some boxes that have essentially moved from house to house and i know people will say just get rid of them if they've moved from house to house. But I guess we're in a bit of a um, an odd situation because we had a house and Ryan, my husband, used to do fly in, fly out. And then he got a job in, in a town. Um, so he moved to that town and I still live in another town. So the stuff that we have in boxes and then I moved in with my parents. So the stuff we have in boxes, a lot of it is stuff that you don't really want to get it out when you're just like renting from house to house, um, but you don't necessarily want to get rid of it either. So we've definitely got to go through what we have. So I guess the question is, if you would be interested in watching 
some of that I would like to hear let me know in the comments down below and in addition to that I have done two episodes in my um, Sims 4 series the 100 babies challenge um, it's not I did enjoy creating it I'm a little bit apprehensive of wanting to do the whole challenge because it can take like a thousand years um, so and the most recent one I've watched from someone it took her three years so I what I think I'm going to do is I'm actually going to change the rules up a little bit so I have had one son I'm two episodes in I've only had one kid so I'm nowhere near a hundred um, and that is Dexter so what I think I'll do is I'll get him to an adult send him off to uni and we will follow him and um, as he goes around and impregnates the entire woman population so that's my current plan with that so definitely if you're interested in that one or you've got any ideas of how you would like to see me work that please definitely let me know in the comments below let me know all the things in the comments below now okay so that's the brown what color do I want to go with next I think I'm actually going to go with a more neutral sandy look I might use this one all over the lid today um, so I might actually put, and I might put this green actually along the lower lash line. Yeah, let's do that. Let's go with that. That sounds like fun. Okay, so I've got my weird little double-ended brush. And we're going to go in with this sandy, warm, sunny, bronzy shade. Bronzy shade is probably what it is. These are very creamy. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've used this palette, but I have swatched it, and the swatches always make the shimmers feel very, very creamy. And I definitely think it's going on okay, but let me have a look if I... Look how much better that is. I don't normally use my fingers, just because I don't like the lack of precision. I have a tree outside my window and the dog is playing with it so if you can hear something banging on my window that's what's going on there Yeah, it definitely has more payoff when you put it on with your finger. Okay. Let's go back in with that light brown shade. Like I said when I was doing my uh, fourth episode of the Lips vs. Eyes, I wish that would make this palette so much better as if the shades had names. Um, especially if you're going to theme a palette, this is just like I think if you're theming a palette like this is obviously themed for Australia and I've got the Hello New York one as well, which is obviously themed towards New York. Um, if you're going to theme a palette like that, give the shades names. That's just my opinion because one, I love shades names. I think like names of shadows, names of lipsticks, they are like the best part of the whole entire, you know, lipstick or the palette really i want to make that pop a little bit more maybe i'm going to try using a bit of my nyx setting spray which way do you do it do you do it this way or do you do it the other way i have found sometimes when you do it this way um even though you get a lot up I found a couple times that it can also cause the shade in the palette to get hard panned. So 
it's one of those things you've got to kind of be a bit careful with if you spray it then put the shadow on it rather than putting the shadow on and then spraying It's definitely a lot um, brighter. Is that better? That's better. Now I'm going to jump in to this dark brown here. And I'm going to use that one in the outer, outer V area. Not that I'm really ever any good at this. I literally just go with slap it on and hope that it looks good. So going back to obviously I bought a house. Um... I wanted to take a note to mention the debt free community over on Instagram. If you watch them or have a look around in their area, it is, they're really, really good. <laughs> um, Cause it's true. You save up all this money and work hard to save enough for a deposit that then get you into debt and then you pay it off. It's a bit of a, interesting concept but I mean in reality it's a scenario where if that wasn't an option and we had to save well for me personally if we've had to save the amount for the full entire house in one hit we definitely would not really ever be able to purchase a house like the property market is very hard to get into I think and that was something that we definitely wanted to do I know some people we are on the on the cusp of this idea of never buying property um of renting forever which I mean I don't know if that's a bad thing or not but I look at it and I think you know we were spending you know hundreds of dollars on rent every week wouldn't we be better off that rent going to our own house like yes okay you get more maintenance and things when you pay rent rather than um, purchasing but I really I think I like the idea of just being able to say I don't like this I want to change it and obviously when you're renting unless you move house you don't really have that option to say I don't like it I want to change it okay so that is that bit now I'm going to go in with where is it I reckon I'm going to use this teeny tiny little brush it is currently stained, that's why it looks green, from a liquid lipstick that I used. Um, and I'm going to go in with that green and put that along my lower lash line. They are really glittery. Which I can't tell if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Grab my mirror. Oh, I've got a lot of fallout and I couldn't even tell in this mirror. Well, that's um right here there is quite a lot of fallout. Light, you are letting me down. But that's all right.
I will say I think this green and the two blues in this palette really and and obviously the name really drove me to want this one um because I mean these colors here are nice but really without this this is a very boring neutral palette so I definitely think it was the greens and the blue the green and the two blues though one of them is a lot more aqua that drove me to get it okay that might do there's definitely a lot of glitter fallout from this but that's okay I don't mind alrighty now what I want to do is I think I'm going to use this one down here in my inner corner so let's find a brush I can use for such an activity honestly I really need to clean my brushes too um, we're going to use the other end of my double-ended brush we're going in with this one here these are quite powdery as well, so not only am I finding that I'm getting a lot of fallout, but just dipping my brush into the shade, there is quite a lot of um, kick up. And then when you tap it, can you see that? There's quite a lot that comes off as well. There is a little mirror on here, so that's what I'm currently looking at. Yeah, there is a lot of fallout all here. This one on top of my lid has definitely, definitely fallen out quite a lot. Fallen out. Overall, though, I will say I don't mind these shadows. They're quite pretty. I'm going to use the same shadow in up here under my brow bone. And that's kind of it. It's nothing too dramatic today. It's quite light, actually. Um, I'm going to jump back in with my NYX Matte Finish. Um, what is this thing called? Setting Spray. And lipstick. So as part of the um, lips versus eyes challenge that I am doing, the September, 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 what can I even talk today? The September lippy challenge uses a different lipstick with a different theme every day. And the theme that is today, which is the day I'm filming it, is um your newest lipstick product and I am sticking with the Australian theme and I'm using the Australis Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in Radelaide. So this is a brown, a chocolatey brown. In fact, I feel like this eye look might be too warm for this colour but 
we we have to do what the prompts suggest so let's just slap it on and hope for the best I love the smell of these lipsticks even kind of tastes like bubble gum. Let me just pull my mirror up. All right. I definitely don't mind the color. And even, it's a matte finish. It's, it's a lip cream. It's quite creamy. But as I can feel it starting to dry, I can't really rub my lips together. So it definitely is quite matte. Oh. Uh, Got the, got the, the. Let's hope that that doesn't wear off too quickly. Anyway, um. I will say that the colour is probably a bit too um, cool toned for the eye look, but I actually don't mind it. Let's now, I've got to chuck on my, what do you call this thing that you put on your eyes? I'll do my waterline, I'll do my mascara, I'll do my hair, and then we'll be back. And we're back. And this is the look that I've created today using my Essence G'day Sydney eyeshadow palette and the Australis Velour Lip, Velour Lips, yeah, I think it's Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in Radelaide. So, really, do I have much to say about these products? I, so far, enjoy both of them. Obviously, this is the first time I have used both of these products. So, though I do enjoy them, I don't really know if they go too well together, but it is what it is. Um, I don't mind the shimmers in this palette. I will say that this one here, I did get quite a lot of fallout. Um, and it was best done with either a wet brush or your finger. I think the same probably goes with most of the shimmers in this palette. I am looking forward to playing further with the blues um, in the next week, which you can definitely check out all of that in my week five um, episode of the Lips versus Eyes challenge. Now, Otherwise, I don't really have too much to say about this palette at the minute. I will say that without these shades here, it is quite a boring palette. These mattes did perform quite nicely. They um, buff buffed out nicely. I had no issues with them whatsoever. Same with this nice cream one. But overall, the palette is quite neutral with just a few pops of colour. Which I guess is exactly what the beach kind of looks like, which is the whole concept of this palette. <laughs> well, that's all I've got for you today. So I'm Verity. That was the fourth episode of my Get Ready With Me Dust Collectors collab with Paula from A Beauty Guru Made Me Do It. And now to the outro.